How do credit card payments work? How credit card payments work is not complicated, but understanding the process is important because how you make your payments can play a big role in building a credit history. The first step of the credit card payment cycle is that your billing cycle comes to a close. Your billing cycle is the length of time from one payment due date to the next and is typically one month. Once your credit card billing cycle ends, a billing statement is generated and delivered to you. Your statement should contain a breakdown of every purchase made or refund granted, any fees or penalties charged, plus any interest charged during the billing cycle. It should also contain other useful information, such as the balance owed, the minimum amount due, the payment due date, forms of acceptable payment, and more. A credit card statement may be mailed, emailed, or made available electronically online or via the card issuer's mobile app, depending on the card issuer's policies and the card member's preferences. Once you receive your statement, you should make a payment of at least the minimum amount due specified on your statement by the payment due date. By federal law, you then have at least 21 days from the time your statement is delivered to make a payment. If your statement is made available electronically, that delivery date will likely be on or very near the date your billing cycle ends. But your payment due date should be very clearly listed on your statement. It's important to note that your payment must be received by the card issuer by the due date, not just mailed by that date. Even if your payment is postmarked by the due date, it will be considered late if it's received after that date. Also, a payment for less than the minimum amount due is considered a missed payment, even if it's made and received on time. While paying only the minimum amount due should keep your account in good standing, doing so will take you longer to pay off your balance, and you'll pay more in interest than if you make larger payments. In fact, every billing statement is required to provide a minimum payment warning that lets you know how long it will take to pay off your balance and how much you'll pay in interest if you continue to make only the minimum payment. Finally, repeat the process of making consistent, on-time payments for at least the minimum amount due each and every billing cycle and build a positive payment history. A positive payment history can play a significant role in calculating your credit scores. In fact, it's one of the most important factors.